All right, Shalom. First off, we want to start by giving all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakak Kodash. Double honors to our apostle, our apostle and elders of Great Millstone. Honors and salutations unto you, brothers, that's preaching this word in sincerity and truth. You know, and Shalom to you, sincere uh, listeners and believers thereof. All right. So, as you can see on the screen, we want to go into this article off of blacklistednews.com. Um, the title reads Killer Loans. College debt triggers depression and suicide. So it says, um, when billionaire Robert Smith pledged to pay off the students' loans of Morehouse College's graduating class recently, the story went viral. But few people realized that his generosity might have saved some of the students' lives. Literally, many students and recent graduates have killed themselves and hundreds of thousands have contemplated suicide because of the uh because of the crushing burden of their student loans according to research and surveys millions more are suffering from depression anxiety and other distress because getting an education in the u.s now comes with a lifetime of debt which happens if you commit suicide this question appeared in the student loans community on Reddit, just weighing my options when asked why would you even think that the original uh, poster answers seems like an alternative many people would choose if it ended the debt. To be honest, the post received a mix of this um, of dis dissuasion and uh, concurring voices. The payments just keep going up and up and up and up until you die. One replies, these young people are not alone, not by a long shot. According to a recent survey of, of current and former students between 20 and 39, uh, 39 years of age, 70% of them were 100K to 500K in debt because of this burden. One in 11 deaths by suicide among young professionals was at least partly due to student loans. One in 15 has cont contemplated suicide. Over half, 53% have experienced depression. 9 and 10 experience significant anxiety. So pretty much these um these students are catching hell to um uh in order to um to achieve a so-called uh, um um uh, education, a form of education in Babylon's um and Esau's full system here in Babylon, man. All right? And they're picking themselves into um into a hell of a lot, a, a shitload of debt. All right, I got um, just real quick hit a precept. All right, this is um, and that's leading to what depression, anxiety, suicides, and and who who uh, uh who do you have to thank for that? All right, this is um, uh, Proverbs twenty nine and two. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. Yep, and, and it's, yeah, it's people more because look at look at how everything is set up, you know, how how like the article is going into. Here it is. This um, you're taught that when you when you go to school, you're supposed to have um things better off in your life. When in actuality, majority of people who go to school, what happens? You just accumulate a lot of debt, and then the job that you went to school for to learn. You don't even get a job in that field. Most of the people, you know, mm -hmm. and you and you accumulate, like you said, you accumulate debt, and like just going into anxiety, depression, stress. Mm -hmm. What if you don't pass this class? You have to, you have to hurry up and get all these ten pages in one night. You know, all these, all this BS, pretty much, that's being thrown your way. Let alone being indoctrinated. Mm -hmm. You know, you about and, and a lot of people that do go to college, they still working. Yeah, yep. So like you got you like you never get to chill because like you said, you got ten pages to do. You got you got to get a job in order to pay to go to school. Then after your job, you got to go go study, do ten pages. So you ain't getting no sleep. Mm -hmm. That's where that's where all that stress and anxiety and stuff come in is because you're always worried about something that you got to take care of. Like you literally can't never rest. Yeah, and never just chill. You mm -hmm. always got something that that's like that's bothering you. Because you, you're always worried, so to speak. Yep. That's where that anxiety is kicking in. Yep, and the further you go along, what the further you dig, you dig yourself into what? Into yep. into a, into debt, into a bond, okay? 
And who are you indebted to? All right. As it, as it says in Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Mm -hmm. And like we're reading right here in Proverbs 20, uh, 29 and 2. All right. When the wicked bear rule, the people mourn in their mourning. They're depressed. They have anxiety. They're committing suicide. All right. They're uncertain. Okay. And, and what? They're accumulating a, a vast amount of debt. Not even forgetting that you're already a debt slave. Mm -hmm. And then the money that, that you're getting loaned to you and that you're working for and towards is a damn debt note. Mm -hmm. So you're piling debt on top of debt, which is what? Making you more of a slave. To, to who? The wicked Esau, the elites. I got this right here. This is um, and this is exactly what what these people are going through. This is Proverbs twenty two and seven. The rich ruleth over the poor. Mm -hmm. All right, because this is not just any old uh uh, uh eat regular regular Edomite. No, these are these are the Amalekites. All right, uh, um, the Rothschilds. Okay, Spe uh, specific uh, uh Edomites. Okay, of a high of a high class. Um um, that can literally trace their lineage straight back to Esau, their forefather. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, the rest of you Edomites, man, you 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 slave, you dead slaves, all right? You know? It says the rich ruleth over the poor, and the borrower is is servant to the lender. Yeah. And, and you, when you go to school, you that's all you are doing is yep. borrowing. Yep. You borrowing money to um, to in order to be able to get to go to school. Okay. And then once you get done, you have to pay all that back. And of course you can't pay it all back in one lump sum. Of course not. Nobody has money. So they, what do they do? They allow you to do your, your installments or you can defer your payments or whatever, all these different things, yet that massive amount of debt is not going anywhere. You still have to take care of that. Mm. And that's always going to sort of speak behind you for the rest of your life. I'm going to jump back into the article um, because it, it kind of it, it goes into it. It said debt has a clear impact on borrowers' mental health, said Melanie LaCourt of Student Loan Planner. The financial coaching company that did the survey, it is something we should be talking about. All right. So it weighs on these people, on these on, on these students' minds, all right, mm -hmm. as a form of form of, of stress, a worry, you know. Another another um um said another bill pretty much. Uh it says this is not the first research on the mental toll of student loans. Over the past few years, many researchers have have correlated student debt with poor psycho, uh, psychological functioning. However, it is a topic vir uh, virtually ignored by the media. A 2015 st uh, study found that the link between student loans and mental and emotional dysfunction persists across all income and social groups in the U.S. Mm -hmm. So this is going on all across Babylon. Because that's the thing, Esau, Esau presses out, all right? He indoctrinate, indoctrinates you. Uh, once you're a little child, okay, and that's why he take your your he'll take your parents to jail if you if you don't send your ch uh, your children to school. You want to forcibly vaccinate them and indoctrinate them, mm -hmm. and then what? Once you go to school, you go all the way up to what high school, okay? Then what? You can either go to trade school, you go to a uh, 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 continuation or school, you can go to um, um college. Doing, doing, uh, trade school yeah, you're better college. off. Yet would it the pay? Yeah, what do, what do Esau, what do Esau really press out to do? He wants you to do. What did he glorify doing? Yeah. Go to college. Exactly. Strive to go to college, the best colleges thereof. Be a lawyer, a doctor. Whatever is gonna cost you the most. <laughs> yeah, it's so called gonna gonna benefit you the most, but really it's gonna cost you the most. You know, you catch the most help. Yeah, exactly. Because these people, they they glorify and going to these these uh these high level universities and colleges yet. The higher level it is, the more that it costs to go there. Mm -hmm. And a lot of, you know, majority of people who go there, they ain't got all grants and stuff to clear, the, um, to waive all their fees for going to college. Yep. So they got to, you have to pay, you know? Yep. And then all these, these people that go into these different uh, 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 schools and, 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 and um, study these different fields, they go, they, they, they go what? They go out into the world and they become a part of different social groups, different classes, you know? Different incomes, different different um 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 positions. Mm -hmm. Okay, so ultimately this is affecting all of all of um all of Bab all these Babylonians. Mm -hmm. You know, it says, and at least one study revealed the physical and social effects of debt related stress. In 2017, a financial advising uh, company called Student Loan Hero did a survey of over 1,000 student borrowers 
More than 70% reported suffering from headaches, insomnia, and other physical symptoms of anxiety, uh, anxiety which sometimes lead to self-imposed social isolation. I avoid doing things with friends and family, one <laughs> respondent said, because I don't want them to know how broke I am. Yeah. Student loan-induced stress is threatening to take over the lives of borrowers, the survey concludes. Student loans are pulling down the U.S. economy. This is no longer news. Americans now spend uh, substantially more than students in other developed countries for a college education at an average of 30000 per student annually. Yeah, that's, that's low level as far as like the, um, the 30000 because that's like a, a, like a community college type of thing. It's a 30K. Because, you know, if you go to a university or something higher, you, 30K is like is not nowhere in sight as far as what you're paying annually for school. Mm-hmm. Yet this is what's glorified when you go to college and stuff. This is this is what people actually tell you to do and all that. So yep. you could just so you could do what take a, a weak ass photo and have your picture on the wall with a piece of paper on your name saying you went to that school. Yeah, yeah, a piece of paper to um um to qualify you for 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 whatever field or whatever lane you're trying to choose in life. All right, yeah. it's, it's a goddamn piece of paper to flaunt. You know, it says borrowing. Has all, almost doubled over the past decade. By the end of 2018, the U.S. had more than 44.7 million student borrowers across all demographics and age groups who collectively have amassed 1.56 trillion in debt, according to the U.S. Federal Reserve. So these, so these, this is this is further aiding and in, 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 um building up the debt of America. You know, further breaking down. The uh, uh the economy of America further destroying this place, man, and, and and at the same time destroying you people. That's why it says what in Micah two and ten. No, what? It. Oh, that's a spirit. All right, uh, uh, bring it out. Let me go to it. Yep, go ahead. This Micah two and ten. Mm -hmm. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Straight up. Because it is, because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with the sword destruction. Yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. This ain't. Um, yeah, this ain't your rest, cause mm -hmm. like, like you was mentioning, in uh, in other countries and stuff, it doesn't even cost to go to college. Mm -hmm. At least if it, if some is most of it's free, and then if you do pay, it's not nowhere near as much as you pay out here. Yeah. You know, and out here is pretty much is just set set up for you to fail. Even mm -hmm. like in the um, I remember I don't even watch that shit, but I I seen like that that one black bitch running for president. She was speaking, and she was going into college debt, cause it was students talking. And she was even saying that, like, back in her day, when she was young, going to college, it didn't cost as much as it costs now. Yep. So, wh what's going on, you know? Yep. G generations ago, it didn't cost as much to go graduate from Harvard and all this other shit. Now, all of a sudden, it's costing you, you breaking the bank just to go to college. Yep. And here it is, yo, this is what's drilled into you in high school and everything, yet the cost to go there keeps rising and rising. And it you can't afford it, and your parents can't afford it, really, because mm -hmm. they sending you there. Yet they, what do they tell you to do? Get financial aid, try to get all these grants, get loans, yeah, get student loans, and then all, you have to pay those back, and then you have to pay interest on top of that. Yep. So it's like you just putting yourself in debt, and they try to tell you to think about your future. You're gonna be making money, this and that. The money you making, you still gonna have that that big ass debt bubble on top of you yeah, all the time. Yeah, it's gonna follow you into your future, really. Mm -hmm. You know. And ultimately, they know that there, there is no future for this place, man. And it says what it, it um is polluted. It will destroy you even with the sword destruction because what you 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 become indoctrinated. Yep. You become uh you cleave unto the uh to the the ways of Babylon. You start you start becoming and and thinking and 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 um um rationalizing like an Edomite, mm -hmm. like a goddamn uh, uh devil, okay. And you you pick up these qualities that these people are are are, are um, getting insomnia, uh, anxiety, depression, committing suicide, all right, you know, and just being in a hell of a lot of debt, you know, yeah. being in in a hole. Because you you getting entangled in the world. Yep. That's like especially when you're in college and stuff. Because all you gotta do, all you have to do is like nothing but pages and pages of work. Okay. You reading all the time. You gotta study. You gotta. You got uh, you, you write essays and all this other madness. And then, like I said, most people that do go to college, they're not just going to college only. They got to have a part-time job or a full-time job outside of that. 
Okay. So you literally don't have a break. It's like you got two jobs pretty much. You're going to college and you're working. So it's like you you don't have no time to, to chill. And then like the one like one person said in the article, you don't have no money to spend either because all your money is going towards you just to make it to school. Yep. And, and pay your little minor bills that you that you do have to pay. You pretty much like uh, how do you say you? Not uh, is it in a rat race or, or pretty much in a hamster wheel? Yeah. You're not going nowhere. You know you're just stuck. If anything, you're just you're just digging yourself deeper in the hole. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'll, I'll continue on. It says, um, while the um, microeconomic crisis of student loans has become a heated topic in the political arena, little attention is paid to the real life uh, crisis faced by debtors themselves. Student loan borrowers are getting crushed by the mountain burden of their debts. Mm -hmm. Why student loans are especially toxic? All debts are burdensome. Why is it that student loans in particular give people so much emotional distress? Under current U.S. Uh, debt system, student loans are much tougher to discharge than bankruptcy. That is true both for federal and private student loans. Private student loan uh, borrowers in particular have very few protections if they struggle to repay their loans. And you got the look like the so-called black woman, you know what I mean, with her, with her gown on, you know, Getting getting uh, pampered by her by her master Esau, which a lot of you you so called Negro, Latino, Native American women are in those colleges, man. All right, being fully indoctrinated, and and and, and indebted. You know, mm -hmm. it says federal loans on the other hand have a handful of forgiveness me uh, mechanisms, um, but such relief is almost inaccept um, inaccessible to the majority of debtors. Federal loans. Can be forgiven after 10 years, the standard repayment period for those in select occupations, such as public service workers and teachers. But in practice, these programs help very few applicants. Take, for example, public service loan forgiveness, one of the most uh, popular types of student loan forgivenesses, according to the latest available data of 1,000 of 1, mil, uh, 1 million, 173,420 PSLF uh, borrowers who attempted to qualify for forgiveness as the as of the third quarter in 2018, only 55 were granted relief. The student loan uh, planner survey also suggests that the middle class might be hit the hardest by the mental tolls. One in nine borrowers who owe 80,000 to 150,000 uh, in student loan debt considered suicide, as opposed to one in 17 borrowers who owe up to 600000 Lockhart explained to who, what, why uh, that middle-class borrowers are likely to be the most depressed because a higher chunk of their income is going to debt payments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they'll take it out your check. If mm -hmm. you don't pay them, if you don't pay Esau, he's going to get it one way or the other. Of course. <laughs> and like I said, the middle class, because you you're not making any money already. Mm -hmm. and so, of course, the majority of your check would go towards your debt. Cause you don't have any money. Yep. But somebody that's a so-called higher class, the uh, the rich, it doesn't affect them as much because they're making good money. Mm -hmm. Yet the middle class and the, the poor, you ain't you can't even afford to like that's your whole check down here just to pay make your minute, your monthly payment for your student loan. Yep. And and um and inflation, the cost the cost of living is 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 uh is rising. The value of the dollar is 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 lowering. Yep. So you just you just catching pure hell, man. You got you got to work more. All right. That's why they're depressed. And then yeah. You go, to, you go to school for these for a job, <laughs> but then you don't have experience in the field, so they're not okay. gonna fuck with you. Yeah. So you did all these years and and everything for school, but then now you have to find somebody that actually want to take a person who doesn't have no experience. Mm -hmm. All you do is all you did was book work. That doesn't yep. compare to you actually being out there and okay. having the experience. Yep. You just find out every all all that time all that time was just 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 waste. Mm -hmm. It says for those who sign up. For an income-based uh, re repayment plan, payments are set at a percentage of their discretionary income. The plan protects those below the poverty line, but for the middle class, an income rise translates to a heavier monthly debt burden. A college uh, education traditionally a uh, traditionally a way for the poor and the underprivileged to rise them to raise themselves to a higher financial and social status has instead become a perverse Im impediment to their aspirations yeah. see and, and it came out 
the scandal that's going on for for uh, from the, from the rich, the wealthy, those more well off, uh, 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 chief really uh, heathens, Esau. Mm-hmm. All right, they they pay they pay their children way through college, man. Yeah. It's all about the they money. The money exactly. So they they kids ain't gotta worry about no debt or nothing. They ain't worry about having to study or whatever because their parents just funding the whole whole trip. Yep, free ride. It says more than two thirds of the graduates of the class of 2018 entered the labor market with an average of 29,800 in student loan debt. Many may end up in jobs that will never pay enough to allow them to become debt free. They feel like they did everything right. They took out loans to go to school, did well, worked hard. But instead of that leading to success, um, income and opportunities, many borrowers feel the weight of debt, said Lockhart. Whether it gets worse or better will depend on policy changes and rules governing student loan forgiveness or p- repayment plans re- uh, restructured to ease the crushing burdens on um, students who borrowed to secure their piece of the American dream. <laughs> yeah, that's the end of the article. So pretty much their hope is... is uh, 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 Nothing. Yeah, their hope is pretty much for Esau, the government... To change laws and in, in, in the way that they run things, pretty much for more government assistance, which is not going to happen, man. This is the assistance, assisting you to fail. Yep. All right. Uh, and that's why, like I was saying, but uh, the, the, <clears throat> the, the the queen who was running for president, uh, president, or whatever, she was part of the presidential debate and all that for the, whenever that that was going on. They had, they had college students asking her about that, like, what what are y'all gonna do about the the student student debt problem? Because that's all that they really worried about. The so called millennials, the uh, the kids, the the um the new the new generation, so to speak, that's going to college and stuff. That's yep. what they're worried about. Because they're supposedly they're supposedly uh, the future of tomorrow. Yep. And and the whole thing is they're dealing with this debt, but you got a you got a you got a a U.S. debt to deal with. Yep. That debt bubble. All right, you can't keep pressing off debt. All right. Applying certain certain plans, it's not going to work, man. All right, you got to deal with this debt sooner or later. Mm-hmm. Esau knows that you can't kick, you can only kick the can down the road so long. I got this right here. This is um, this is uh, Ecclesiastes twelve and one. Remember now, thy Creator, in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, mm-hmm. nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. And that's what two thirds of our people don't do. All right, they go they go and do they what they want to do. Go to college. All right, you know, all right, pretty much go to the ways of this world. And in this sense, go to college, accumulate debt, mm-hmm. still, still, uh, man, still, still have no place in this society. That's what you thought to do is give your sacrifice your young years for going to college and yep. all that other stuff so that you can enjoy your so called older years. Mm-hmm. When it really doesn't even work out like that for most people that go to college. Mm-hmm. You sacrifice all and all that shit, and then what? Well, we know a dude personally out here who's been going to college, and he's still working the same warehouse job. Yeah, we know a few people like that. They didn't. They working like regular jobs. They going to Sac State. You know, they didn't went to so called good colleges and stuff. Mm-hmm. And they they ain't even got a, a high level paying job still. Yep, they pretty much a waste of their time, man. Yep. All right, you know, and this is a true sacrifice, like it says Romans the twelfth chapter. You know, uh, uh, remembering our Creator, coming back to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. A departing from this place spiritually, you know. Verse 2, while the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease be, uh, because they are few, mm-hmm. and those that look out of the windows be darkened. Yeah, yeah cause cause the jobs are closing. A lot of a lot of um a lot of businesses are in, in places that used to be booming and spreading. Are closing down, man. Going bankrupt. All right. Babylon is falling, man. It's yeah. collapsing. All right. Yeah. And 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 what it says and those that look out the window and those that look out of the windows be darkened. Yeah, your outlook on 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 a, on the so called American dream, like this article is talking about. Mm-hmm. You now have no assurity in a future here, let alone your own future That's being here. Up. Yep. Yep. Cause you you was taught that you, you doing this you supposed to be while you're going to college and everything you supposed to be envisioning your future success and everything when they envision their future they just see more hell yep they in college and they don't really see like what's the point in doing it like yeah they told. they only the really only only option they see is is death just killing themselves man yeah. <laughs> that's that's the, the option that people are looking solution. at yeah 
you know? That's the only way I can get out of their debt and their, and their problems. Uh, it says, And the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grind, grinding is low, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the darters of music shall be brought low. So that's right, man. This is all contributing to Babylon being brought low, falling down, all right? Being brought to naught, mm -hmm. okay? You know? Like the scriptures say in Isaiah, there, there's no, there's a, uh, uh, there's no more work for for ba uh, for Egypt. This is spiritually Egypt, all right. You know, the Lord is bringing this thing down to a, to a complete close, all right. Hey, the good old days, whatever, you, whatever you, the dreams you were sold, man, those are nothing but but, but lies, all right. And you people. Are starting to figure, uh, uh, find that out, but guess what? It's it, it's too late for you people. Mm -hmm. You know, you're just gonna have to um to deal with your fate uh, and your judgment. Mm -hmm. You know, and ain't no making America great <laughs> at all. It ain't it, like it ain't like it used to be back in the day. That's when you could have like gen two two to three generations ago. That's when you could have went to college and came out successful and did your thing and all. Now it's not it's not happening like that no more. Yep, you just you just killing yourself off. Because you putting yourself under hell of stress, to just to, just to put yourself through more hell, mm -hmm. really. Sure. So there's nothing but just more hell coming, because you going to go to you do that, go through that whole cycle, going to college and everything, take which take years, and all you're doing is just building up more and more debt. That's right. Yeah, man. So this is this is a, a sign of of um, what's coming to Babylon. All right, you know. So yeah, uh, with that, hopefully this lesson was edifying. We're going to go ahead and close out once again, giving all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakaq, Kodash, you know. Until the next time, we're going to say Shalom. Shalom.